Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube on uh, Medium, as we're about to see, and uh, now it's also on. Um, now we're also on DanielRoso.tech. So, if you go onto my uh, GitHub account, what I'm going to show you in today's video is I have this uh, repository here called Cloud Backup Approaches, and um, the purpose of this it's a little bit of an exhaustive effort, um, but uh, basically, and I'm just going to call up my mas master backup strategy too because it kind of uh, relates to that. Master backup strategy, I made a video about this a few days ago. Uh, essentially, I am documenting uh, because I've never really documented any of this before. And uh, it's good for my own use because the thing about backups is uh, you tend to forget about them unless it's something running automatically. And some of these guys, if you look at my uh, main backup strategy schematic here, let me just open the image. Um, some elements of this do run automatically, such as, for example, the uh, time shift is a uh, incremental or is it differential? No, it's incremental. Um, that runs itself automatically. The clonezilla does not. So I actually have in this master backup strategy uh, repository, I believe I have a little uh, timeline for myself, in fact. Um, scripts, backup calendar, another markdown file. Um, I need to work on these tables, but basically I have a Google Calendar where I do things like take the Clonezilla manually. And, uh, and it, you, you don't really want to be in that situation. The, the elements of V1.3 I want to improve would, would be stuff like taking this Clonezilla image, which is very important because it's more reliable than time shift automatically. Uh, the um, Clydeberry offsite backup to B2 can run automatically. So you want, you want to put yourself in that position uh, unfortunately, where this kind of falls down at the moment is uh, all these manual guys. So I'm also into taking cloud backups, and I've distinguished here, as nobody has really uh, done. This is my terminology here about major and minor cloud backups. Uh, you can, I can probably think of some better word for that. But what I mean here is you have stuff like your Google Drive and your Dropbox and P Cloud. In other words, the big kind of chunks of data, your big repositories of data living in the cloud. And uh, I mean, you could actually put this YouTube video. So as I'm recording, let me just bring over my screen recorder. I'm now creating data. Um, it is, as you can see, um, file size here, almost 10 megabytes. And I'm now creating data that I do not want to entrust only to YouTube. Because what happens if YouTube vanishes, you might wonder. And the question to be, to be answered here is how can I protect, how can I um, do in a way that is Complain with the three, two, one principle of backups, which calls for, I thought I had it here, uh, having an additional two backup copies of all pieces of data uh, on two different storage media, uh, one of which is offsite. So for that video file, I will need to to uh, have it on a second cloud repository, and I will need to have it on site. And if we take the example of my YouTube video, so this is currently uh, I'm now it's on my desktop, uh, it's about to go up to YouTube, which is a cloud. I'm going to delete the file from my desktop once it does, and I will want to be copying it onto two different clouds. So, uh, w how will that happen? What will happen is that I'll take a Google Takeout uh, sometime over the next six months. I'll include YouTube in that Takeout. Um, um, I will push that up to B2 on an AWS EC2 instance. That that'll be cloud to cloud. It's a bit messy. Uh, there are. G Suite to S3 programs, but they don't do. Usually, they focus on files and uh, files and uh, contacts and stuff like that. So, this is like my own custom backup, you could say, that I run on EC2, getting all the G Suite stuff across onto B2 by Backblaze, and that gives me one cloud backup. And then, finally, once a year, uh, you can see this arrow here. I will pull everything. And so then at that point, my YouTube video, now let's be re realistic uh, and say that probably there is no danger to that YouTube video being lost. So this is a six months process that it's gonna go up to B2 after about six months. And probably the next day I'll run a sync of all my BC2 buckets down onto my network attached storage device, my Synology. And that's quicker than that. That's really reasonably quick. Uploading stuff uh, from my local network to the cloud is a uh, is a nightmare. It's not really possible. It's too slow. And at that point, my YouTube video will be backed up. Um, so getting back to this is a, this is the point of the cloud backup approach. That's why I introduced it. And unfortunately, for stuff like Medium, which falls into what I call the minor guys, 
I do this manually. So I've in this other GitHub repository, Clyde Backup Approaches, I have been diligently, uh, as as diligently as possible, documenting all these different services. So I mentioned uh, I mentioned Google G Suite here, Google Takeouts, uh, Automated Export Engine, and uh, I'm starting with a small one, which is Medium. And uh, Medium, to the best of my knowledge. Um, there's no real way to do this, um, you know. Um, if there was, it's always worth searching. Um, but this wouldn't be particularly common that people would want to be doing this. So I'm not surprised that there isn't something like uh, a, scri a script for it. You'll find this is not talking about how to back a medium. It's just a medium article about backups. So basically for, for medium, I've outlined the process here. I'm just going to show you quickly. We'll, we'll go through this one to demonstrate uh, how both how to do this and, uh, and the process. Um, so basically you go into medium and you in the settings menu, there is a, uh, there is an export functionality here. Now I've to save a bit of time. I've gone through this ahead of time. You click on download uh, zip file and then you receive a um, you receive an email. Um, I'm just going to drag over this from the other monitor here. Medium download request and uh, you get a little just to confirm. We've cr this comes after a few minutes and um, as you can see here, download archive. So you'll click on that and uh, you'll download the archive. It's a zip archive. So just quickly unzip that. And uh, this is uh, this is what you get. So I always say that it's worse. Don't assume when a data provider like Medium says they allow you to back up your stuff. Don't don't take them at face value. Uh, investigate what's in the backup, so you know what data is protected and what's not protected. And Medium is a good case in point because after looking into this archive, I saw that there are things missing. Let's let's say. So you can see, just judging by the folders, as to uh, there's a little HTML file here, and actually they tell you what they're what they're giving you. So let me just uh, let me just get a little uh, guest um, guest window open here. Ah, it's already there. So this is what is um, the README file. Here's your archive. And they tell you what each folder contains. So the block one contains blocked users. I'm not blocking anyone on Medium. Bookmark posts, claps, highlights, uh, interest, the IP connection history, the post you've written, your profile, blah blah blah. So let's just look up. Let's just limit ourselves to a couple here. Uh, let us do uh, claps. This is interesting. So this basically, as you can see, is a simple HTML file. Um, now it's claps you've received and claps you've given. So let me just look at this Linux overview for technical writers, uh, and you can see and uh, the number of claps. So this is evidently a clap that I have uh, given. I am an ER physician. This guy had COVID nineteen, so I clapped for this guy. I know I know I clap because it's not something I wrote, and you can see the article. That's what the link is there. Um, I'm trying to see if there are people who clapped me, and I know I do. I have received claps. So that's the first thing to note about this. Um, yeah, these are all other people's articles. So you're looking at the, the backup here is uh, my claps specifically. And that's why it's important because if you look at claps here, they just say post, or they do say post you've clapped for. So what's missing here is uh, people that have clapped for you. So uh, as I said, uh, if you really think through what you're getting, you'll notice that there are things that are not being backed up. And uh, in such a case, this is one of the disadvantages of software as a service that uh, you know, you're entrusting your data to a cloud provider and what they choose to give you in their backup and what they choose not to give you is kind of up to them essentially. Um, but the, So let's just jump to the key thing here, which is the post folder. So let us go back a bit and just click on post. And now we see the whole shebang of um, HTML files of all the posts that I've written. So starting from the very first one I wrote about setting up a virtual number. Um, now we can see that we are, it's giving you a HTML file and it has images, right? So you can think that's nice. So you've backed up. I mean, if you're in the business of backing up medium, your concern is backing up your content, basically the stuff you've written. So that's good and it's nice that you get all the posts out so easily, but 
have a look at this. If I open up the image, this is just one of the images from my first article here. Um, look at what's in the Chrome Omni box. It is CDN images. So basically, um, the HTML files contain links to images, but those images are in the medium CDN. And nowhere in this archive, let's go back to the archive, nowhere is are there images here. Bookmarks, I'm just going to go through real quick. Highlights, and go through the whole thing. Interest, IP connection history, main bit of the archive, the post, uh, publications you're following, people you're following, session history, topics I'm following, users I'm following. Let's just check out this. Yeah, lovely. Has all the individual people that I am following. Um, I'm not sure if it has followers, um, but um, so basically, it does not have the images. So the takeaway from this is that when you create stuff on Medium.com, a post history, uh, you can back up your post, but that backup will not contain the images. So you're not protected against losing your images. Now, of course, you could go through. Let's go through medium backup. Let's go through posts. How to set up a virtual number? You could, uh, you know, go to the various images and save these into your medium backup and say my images, for instance, uh, posts, for instance, and uh, virtual numbers. But this is an awful lot of work, uh, and save that and can you know add them yourself to the backup. But that's not really practical. Uh, if you're backing up something with like, I have 100 posts now in Medium, if you've got more than that. Um, I'm guessing there is a script that could programmatically do this, that could parse through a HTML file, follow all the image links, download those and put them into a folder. Uh, I'm not currently at the point where I want to do that because what I do is for this very reason, I literally will uh, copy all my medium posts um, as PDFs and back up those to my own system so that the images are safe. Uh, that's actually a WordPress, a WordPress blog. Um, so I just copy stuff I write medium. That's really important to know that if you are, uh, let's say a frequent contributor to medium, medium is a substantial part of your livelihood. You're in the medium partner program. It's really, really important to know. And this is true by the way, on the, um, 16th of June, uh, tech moves very quickly and uh, there is a good chance that by the time you're watching this video, they will be including images in their data export. But uh, just important to note that at the present time, uh, if you are backing up stuff from Medium, um, that you're not, uh, you're not getting the images. So then just to finish up the backup strategy, what I would do is take this folder, the Medium backup folder, and uh, I just basically put that up to cloud storage B2 uh, using a program called uh, FileZilla um, and uh, just put that up and then add that to my local local NAS as well and it's safe and it's in two places. And that basically gives me the confidence that I need to know that everything, if I'm contributing a lot of good content to Medium, working very hard on those articles, uh, I want to make sure that everything is uh, is backed up essentially. So thank you guys for watching. Um, any questions or comments or queries or anything of that nature, my personal website is here, danielrosal.co.al and you can reach me through that contact form. Uh, thanks for watching.